search for soft lock then click on it then you are going to click uninstall it is the red button below the screen so after clicking on soft lock click uninstall then click ok press volume down and volume and power volume down and power then continue holding then once the device shows this logo release power it will go to automatically to fast boot then you connect your pc and then install adb tools then write this command adb reboot recovery then click enter your phone will go to recovery menu once in recovery menu click reset factory reset once to factory reset the issue of auto restart will get fixed so guys watch the full video we are going to showcase everything on this process and how to unlock from m copper hello everyone mr tech here so guys thank you so much for the support you have supported us so guys today i'm going to show you how to unlock nokia m copper phones permanently so this is nokia c21 this video works for all nokia devices you can try on your device then comment there and tell us if it works so i'm going to try to enable develop options and as you can see it doesn't work so let me go to m copper so actually i prefer doing this method if the device is paid because if it is not paid the soft lock will kind of misbehave and try to lock very fast which will make you struggle and make you work hard so this is just like a shortcut so go to play store and install shizuku shizuku is an app that is used to give apps i privileges that is you can install even system apps so there we are i'm waiting for shizuku to finish downloading so once shizuku has finished to download that is one of the requirements and also we need mjx so i'm going to also share a link of mjx or even without sharing a link on this video i'm going to show you where to get a sample version of mjx which is Kanta, the earlier version so you can download it on github so if the link doesn't the link will be there on the video but you can check on directly in github if you want to get the video so now guys you can see if i click soft lock it is asking for a lock pin it is telling me to enter code so at the end of this video you will see that soft lock will not be there so let's go to develop options again this is nokia c21 plus so build number i'm trying to tap it doesn't work so open shizuku first let's go and download the counter to ensure that we have all requirements before we start the process okay let's go to Kanta. then you just search Kanta github then select the first link some lego stroke Kanta. that is the app that is go we are going to be using so once we download Kanta, we are going to download this app then set this app so that once we use it it works with shizuku then after using the shizuku we unlock the device you can be connected to internet without any issue after you are connected to internet the device will not lock because the device is going to unenroll directly from there so there we are the video has finished the app has finished to download don't skip the video if you haven't liked please like and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and turn on the notifications Thank you so much guys for the support you've given into us. It was it is all because of your support. So let's open Kanta. There we are. I'm going to search for soft lock. If your device has a difference with what I'm showing here, just contact me and I'll show you the way forward. Also, this method will work for soft lock from version 5.25 except in MCOPA X20 and MCOPA X2. So, this video is for all Nokia devices except HMD. So, let's go to and click start developer options. It says please enable developer options first. So, with that, let's go to settings and find soft lock in the apps. So, first, if I try to enable build number, it doesn't work, it doesn't allow me to enable that. So I'm going to go to soft lock and 
remove the permission CTRs. So at first, we have modify of system apps. You have to ensure here in advance, modify in system apps is being removed. Then go to storage and caching, then clear. Okay. Then click back, click the three dots, then uninstall updates. Click OK, uninstalling soft lock. We are done. Once you are done with that soft lock, we lock, then it will open your device. Then go to about phone, enable developer options. As you can see, developer options they have opened. Let me draw my pattern. Now we are in developer options. Now let's go back to system, advanced developer options. Here we are going to enable USB debugging and wireless debugging. So by doing this, instead of using a computer, we can use Shizuku. You can see if I click develop options, it, it takes me to the developer options that I've just enabled. So those who have been asking how to enable developer options, here is the way forward. So, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. So here I'm going to pair with code. Let me go to Shizuku. Allow, always allow on the network. Okay, this is my Wi-Fi. Then go to pairing, then I'll show you the device is connected to Wi-Fi. Then you can see notification there, looking for pairing service, pair with code. So to, let's wait for the code to generate. The, the device is a bit slow, it's not as fast as, fast as the other devices. So the code is 449-822. Let me look for the notification. It is, yeah, enter pairing code. So the code is... Um, where is it? Okay, it is 449 I had forgotten. Let me put the code right now. Where is Shizuku? Shizuku, Shizuku notification. I can't find it. Yeah, the phone is not mine. It has a lot of notifications. But there's no problem. Actually, I'm just about to find it. Let me try to enable. I'm looking for it. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. And thanks so much, guys, for helping me reach. 10,000 subscribers. It is all because of your support and your support of this channel. By leaving that comment, you motivate us to do more research and then upload more videos. Like this now, this is the latest update. You can see now peer device to Shizuku. So go to and start Shizuku. At first, okay, we haven't enabled. So if I click start, it is still refusing. It is because I haven't enabled USB debugging. Let's enable USB debugging. All right, wireless debugging on and off. Okay, it doesn't work. Okay, I haven't enabled USB debugging. So we have to ensure wireless debugging and USB debugging they are both turned on. Let me close and try again. So I click start, developer options. All right, let me look for USB debugging. There it is. I turn on, allow USB debugging. So now if I click start, you can see it is starting with wireless ADB. So close in three seconds. Actually now, Shizuku should have started, but my device, the device I'm showcasing here has some errors, so it has failed, but I'm going to retry again. Then I'll make sure Shizuku is running. So there it is, Shizuku is still paired. So I cancel, then start, try again. Try several times, it will work. Let me close and open. All right, start. I'm just wondering why is it refusing? Okay, the device, the devices are a bit different, but it will work just a moment. Let me see. Okay, cancel that. Yeah, it has started. So you can see it is waiting for this service automatically closing in. 30 seconds. So now Shizuku is running version 13.5 ADB, otherwise zero applications otherwise counter that was the app we were using to uninstall softlock now go there and delete softlock so once you click ok softlock is gone it has been uninstalled so confirm on the uninstalled apps you'll see softlock there it shows it is a system app then now go there on the notification softlock was there earlier but now it had disappeared so you can do this and uninstall even the MCOPA app and any other system app you want. But just know that don't uninstall apps that you don't mostly require. So guys, 
after this guys just go to my youtube channel please hit subscribe look for me and subscribe to my youtube channel so guys thank you so much for watching be pleasant and have a blessed night okay it's the night if it's the day up whatever and also enjoy watching the videos for free so this video is for educational purposes only we do not promote illegal services all right guys Bro, oh, before before you go before you go subscribe subscribe don't forget to subscribe uh, don't do what i'm doing right now this is go, going to break the device so don't do what i'm doing right now it is one of the risk things because once you do that you need a computer you don't think i'm lying to you because you cannot do this with a sim copper let's go to recovery menu as usual because most of your phones don't have recovery there we are if you try to enter recovery it takes you to fast boot if it takes you to fast boot you take you download fast boot drivers connect your phone to the pc so once your phone is connected to the pc you have pressed volume and volume down and power to enter to fast boot so you can see it is now in fast boot mode so once it's there connect your phone to the pc bam then write fast boot commands then enter adb reboot to recovery once you do that you will find yourself in recovery menu where we have the reset the reset everything so for those who have, en have been encountering the issue of phone restarting this part is for you so what do i mean this part is for you now connect the phone to pc through the usb port through there then write adb reboot to recovery so guys thank you for watching subscribe